Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about the Python SciPy stats mod. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First, we will know about the intro to mod in statistics. After this, Python SciPy stats mod. Then we will understand Python SciPy stats mod 2D and we will also learn about Python SciPy stats mod return. At the end, we will know about Python SciPy stats mod axis. Now move to the first topic. Intro to the mod in statistic. The value that regularly occurs in a given set is known as the mod in statistics. The mod or model value is the number that occur most frequently in a data set and has a high frequency. It is among the three measures of central tendency along with mean and median. For instance, the set 42668 has a 6 as its mod because 6 appears twice and the rest appears only once. Therefore, we can quickly determine the mod given a finite number of observation. There could be one mod, several mod, there could be one mod, several mod, or none at all for a given collection of values. A data set is referred to as a bi model if there are two mods in it. A data set is referred to as a tri model if there are three mods. A data set is referred to as a multi model if there are four or more mods. In this video tutorial, we will calculate the mod of the given array using the method of Python SciPy. The next topic is Python SciPy stats. The method called mod in the SciPy stats module of Python SciPy library specifies that the array supplied should be returned as an array holding the model value. If there is more than one such value, only the smallest is returned. The bin count for the mod bins is also returned. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.stats.mod, where parameters are a which represent the which represent the n-dimensional array of which to find the mod, non-policy, which defines how to handle input when it contains none values. The following are the options available: propagate, which returns none, raise that generate error, omit which perform calculation by ignoring the non-values. Axis Axis is used to which specify along which axis to compute mod. By default, it is 1. If it is specified non, then it compute over the whole array. Let's take an example. Import the required modular library. So here we are importing the method mod from the library scipy.stats then importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Define an array using the method np.array Execute the code. Now pass the above created array to a method mod with x is equal to none to compute the mod of the whole array. Execute the code. As we can see, the output shows that the mod of the whole array is 3 and the count of the mod is 3. This is how to compute the mod of the given array using a method mod of Python SciPy. The next topic is Python SciPy stats mod 2D. We will look at the mod within the two dimensional array using the method mod which we are already familiar with from the last topic. Let's understand with an example. Import the required libraries or method. So here you are importing numpy as np and importing method mod from the module scipy.stats. Execute the code. Now create a two dimensional array using the method np.array. Execute the code. Now pass the web created array to a method mod with x is equal to none. Execute the code. As we can see, the mod of the whole array is 1 and count for the mod is 7. The purpose of this example is to show you that how to compute the mod of a given two dimensional array using the method mod of python scipy. The next topic is python scipy stats mod return. Two values of type nd array mod and count are returned by the method mod of the python scipy stats package where mod is a collection of model values and count is an array of count for each mod. Let's explore mod and count using an example. Import the required method or library. So here we are importing module stats from library scipy, then importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Now create an array containing values using the method np.array. Execute the code. Now pass the web created array to a method mod of scipy stats to compute the mod of the whole array. Now check the return mod and count of an array. Execute the code. As we can see in the output, collection of mod is 11522 and the count for each mod is 1. This is how to access the return value from the method mod using an index mod 0 and mod 1. The last topic of this tutorial is Python SciPy stats mod axis. For computing the mod, 
the method mod accepts the parameter axis. In other words, the mod can be computed on a different axis of the array by specifying the axis value. A two-dimensional array has a two corresponding axes, one running horizontally across columns which is represented by axis 1 and other vertically across rows which is represented by axis 0. Let's take an example and compute the mod of array based on axis. Import the required method or libraries. So here you so here we are importing module stats from library scipy, then importing numpy as np. Execute the code. Now create an array using method np.array and store the array value in the variable arr. Execute the code. Now pass the above created array to a method mod with x is equal to 1 to compute the mod of an array horizontally across columns. Execute the code. Now check the return result from the method mod. Look at the output. The method mod returns a 2 mod that is a 2 and 1 and each appears 2 times in the given array. As we can see here in the array, look at row wise, the 2 appears 2 times. So the mod of this axis, this horizontal axis is 2. And look at the second rows, the mod for this row is 1 because 1 appeared 2 times. But there is also one value that is 4, 4 appears 2 times. But the method returns only 1 because this is the rule of the method. If the array contain more than 2 mods, then the method will return the smallest one mod that we have learned in the first topic of this tutorial. This is how to compute the mod of the given array on the basis of given axis. Before we finish, let me tell you that we have detailed post about Python scipy stats mod and link to the post is given in the below description. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about Python scipy stats mod and how to calculate a mod in different ways. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.